but there are rules in place to protect the minority from the majority right really there are rules in place right it's called uh, um, I forget what it's called I put a video out in 2016 because people were asking me about uh, or 2017 or something like that people were asking me about the elections uh, in the United States uh, how the results were for the 2016 election and uh, I put out a video saying that people were saying oh it should all just be and I don't agree with it all being just the number of votes that people get should represent in thing because again uh, centers of power will have a higher population and if we just go with center of power then they will be able to control everyone and that doesn't work that doesn't work at all right just take it on a global scale right so for example right now china has one point let's say five billion people india going getting close to 1.5 billion people there's like 8 billion people in the world right so 3 billion people live in China China plus India control 3 billion people 3 billion right total population in the world 8 billion total 8 billion right that's what is that 3 divided by 8 what percent 3 divided by 8 Doink. three divided by eight that's 37.5 percent of the world right 37.5 percent of the world if 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 let's assume we had a uh, crafter how are you doing I heard China actually actually has only 1.3 billion uh, like they overcounted their population or something possibly I would say uh, my guess would be that they may be undercounting right so we'll round it up to one and a half because I, I can almost guarantee you India is undercounting right <laughs> like there's no way to have the statistics to India to count them right uh, most likely anyway but let's assume together they control 3 billion people that's 37.5 percent of the global population according to Canadian type of results that you see here 37 if in, in Canada if a party gets 37.5 percent of the votes usually they'll have a majority that means they can do anything they want so if we just go by one vote one person one vote and whoever gets control gets to do anything they want to anyone they want right if there's no protections put in place for that government right then China and India, if it was a world government, they would get to decide what everyone does in the world, right? That, that's tyranny of the majority, right? There's laws in place. I know in the United States, in Canada, it's not looking very good. Uh, they took the Charter of Rights and flushed it down the toilet, right? These guys, these clowns, these clowns, and these clowns with collaboration of those clowns, and with the silence of these clowns, they took the Canadian Charter of Rights and flushed it down the toilet, right? These guys were the only people that were opposing it, and they had no seats in government, right? They were, they're just a political party, and they were giving interviews, and they were being blacklisted and labeled as everything under the sun to silence them, okay? So keep this in mind. This is mathematics in politics extremely important extremely important and this is just the the tip of the iceberg when it comes to once you understand mathematics you're uh, you're able to look at the numbers and come up with your own conclusions and try to think about different types of systems if they make sense or if they don't make sense right and why certain things work a certain way right why you know why are there rules in place i know in the united states to protect the minority from the majority then why there was rules in place to a certain degree in canada as well but these clowns with the silence these clowns flushed that down the toilet right they said no protection of the minority from the majority they even flushed down the Nuremberg code right 
they said no Nuremberg code. New, look into Nuremberg code and you'll understand what what just happened in Canada since we're talking about Canada. Okay.